please give a round of applause for the next poet up to the stage, Karen! She places a pomegranate in my impatient palm, long fingers entangling the thick, waxy skin as if they were veins embracing the gift of her muscular heart, bleeding and beating in my palm. My mother places a pomegranate in our palm. She smiles. Kala miriti. My daughter eats. The lines around her eyes curl like the tendrils of old tales, and I am reminded of peaceful Persephone, her fate, her resolve at the palms of patriarchs. At first protected by the earth of her mother, a womb fit to nourish and love as no other, so too did my mother grow in such a home where she, like Persephone, was content alone. And who was Persephone but a maid swallowed by a man's deceitful design as Hades cracked the earth to take his prize? She was but a good daughter, dutiful yet distressed, in quiet observance protesting her arrest. So too was my mother, in the prime of her eligibility, delicately arranged a bouquet of sensibility. How could she be punished for seeking freedom, alone in princely society, creating her own queendom? That man must make her servile for life, that a man must take her as his wife. Such was the fate of Persephone and her pomegranate, six succulent seeds swelling into sandy grit, affecting her marriage to the unyielding underworld, Demeter weeping and Zeus yielding to a man's world. So too was my mother traded as stock, a domestic bargain, her dowry a lock. My grandmother wept, cursing those same seeds that brutal men used to sow and breed. So per Persephone bloated as pump pomegranate in summer, birthing all the sour fruits of seeds forced upon her. Melanoe, the name of the vengeful daughter she bore. And in turn, my mother bore me, churning the tears of Demeter. She fiercely fights for me. See, as other women are in, in my community say, your daughter is such a bibiti, a good daughter. My mother quietly returns, nay, no. She is Meriti, my daughter. And we cackle and giggle in the sun, our tongues red, gums ruddy, lips stained crimson, as we pluck pomegranate seeds with such glee. For we, mothers and daughters, in our quiet queendom, are free. And that was Karen.